Let's go to Dr. Wax, a family practitioner from New Jersey. Good morning, Craig. Oh, good morning, uh, Dr. Samadhi, and a happy Father's Day to you. Same I to heard you. your lovely children there, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure your beautiful wife was uh, supporting you while you did this great broadcast to help educate uh, people on how to be healthy today. Thank you for being here, and happy Father's Day to you as well. As a, f- a family practitioner, you see a lot of men and women, and as I mentioned right now, women are really great with screening. They go for their mammograms, they go for their pap smears, they um, know how to take care of themselves. They don't take no as an answer. When the doctor says, you know, you're too young to get mammogram, they continue to push and they get what they want. But men, I'm sure you see a lot of them, you know, uh, PSA guidelines have changed. U.S. task force has not done uh, really help to a lot of men out there. What do you tell men out there that are listening to you? What tips do you have to keep themselves healthy? Well, I have um, a... a five-fingered uh, hands-on approach to uh, dad's health today. I just wanted to mention, if I could, um, since it's Father's Day, my four great children and my uh, wonderful, supportive wife, as well as last weekend, I had the privilege of doing the American Cancer Society Bridge to the Beach, which was a 68-mile um, bike-a-thon from Philadelphia to Atlantic City, which was fabulous, and it was healthy for me. Congratulations. So it was uh, all good things. So on to the five-fingered uh, hands-on approach to dad's health. Um, number one thing is sleep. Start with a good night of sleep, six to eight hours. If you have difficulty, you wake up tired, your spouse says, hey, you snored, you stopped breathing, it might be sleep apnea, get it checked out with your doctor. Hugely important. So a good night of sleep, six to eight hours is the number one. Don't, number don't, two, ignore, don't ignore sleep apnea because yep. I think that's a very important point that uh, Dr. Wax is bringing up because with obesity, which can compress on some of the vocal cords and you don't breathe well, you feel like you've slept for five to seven hours, but then you're always tired. And that's because you really don't go into deep sleep. So the next day you're tired, the risk of injuries and accidents, motor vehicle accident, uh, memory is not functioning well. And obviously there's a lot of hormonal changes that can hurt your heart and cause diabetes and right. craving heart attack, of carbohydrates. stroke, and, and as you mentioned, hormonal changes. I see a lot of patients with low testosterone as well. Right. I'm sure you do in your practice as well. So what's the next tip well. besides uh, sleep? Right. The first one is sleep. The second one is exercise. Exercise an hour a day. And I like to do it right after sleep. I get up 5 o'clock in the morning and I exercise for one to two hours every day. I alternate things I do. As I said, I'm an active cyclist. I do rowing. I go to the gym with all the other men. Um, uh, I do... swimming and, uh, you know, even walking. Like if I'm, uh, you know, in a hotel room or something, um, I do, you know, calisthenics. Uh, Most uh, hotels have a little workout area. There's lots of creative things you can do no matter what your work and well lifestyle is. So one hour of exercise every day. I think think that even if you do 30 minutes uh, three times a week, whether it's swimming, whether it's uh, stretching, yoga, If you don't have time, uh, we're sitting behind these computers all the time, and it absolutely helps with posture and with uh, weight control. So that's that's great. So uh, seven hours of sleep, exercise, and then? Right, and then um, uh, drink water. Water is the primary beverage that the body wants. The way the body does its business is with water and particles. And if you have more particles than per unit water, you got trouble, you get dehydrated. And if you're feeling thirsty, you're already dehydrated. And anyone who exercises will tell you that once they feel thirsty, they've already lost the game. So you want to drink four to six glasses of clean water, that you like every day. Yeah, Usually of course, important. dehydration, that's because uh, 70 to 80 percent of our body is consists of water. And when you're dehydrated, you always feel fatigue. You're not concentrating well. And uh, I agree with you. I think dehydration affects the entire body from brain to skin to colon and constipation and everything else. So that's another good and- point. And don't forget the urinary tract, which is near and dear to your heart, kidney stones. I believe the biggest cause of kidney stones in our country today is just pure dehydration. Well said. Absolutely. I agree with that. So we have uh, sleep. We have uh, exercise. We have drinking water for men out there. What else? Um, Eating vegetables. No matter what 
diet you subscribe to, whether it's paleo, whether it's vegetarianism, whether it's uh, the no-grain diet, everybody agrees that vegetables are the best course to take when it comes to diet. Any diet book you read will mention vegetables wholeheartedly. They're relatively low in sugar. They are high in nutrients. They're high in antioxidants. And they're loaded with water. If you eat fresh vegetables and don't even cook them, they're loaded with the original water they came with. And that counts toward your daily water intake. So that also helps us to um, prevent dehydration. So vegetables, no matter what diet you subscribe to whether it's vegetarian, Mediterranean, paleo, grain I love free. Medi- I love Mediterranean diet. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a balance of getting your fruits and vegetables, your olive oil, your garlic. Um, you also get uh, you're able to have your fish and your uh, chicken. I think that's a great combination. And finally, the fifth tip for men. Is, uh, is not to poison yourself. You know, a lot of uh, people that consider themselves responsible adults will uh, smoke cigarettes and become addicted to that, you know, uh, as well as uh, drinking alcohol, those kinds of things. We know alcohol is a poison and toxin. A lot of adults uh, try, uh, say that they enjoy the effects of it, that it relaxes them or those kinds of things, but it can also be neurotoxic, as perhaps you've seen in your practice and I've seen in mine, and cigarette smoke has carbon monoxide, tar, nicotine, um, arsenic, cyanide, as many poisons as one can think of. So the trick is is to not put poisons in and uh, dilute the ones that you may have as byproducts of your metabolism with water and, uh, and vegetables for fuel. I think you said it really well. And uh, if you could send me actually an article that has all of this, I would love to post it on our blog on samadimd.com. Um, and we will definitely get the message out. So sleep well, uh, make sure you're drinking, exercise, add fruits and vegetables, and stay away from smoking and alcohol.